woman tries to open plane door mid flight because Jesus told her so. What? Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, recently, an Ohio bound Southwest Airlines flight 192 was forced to make an emergency landing after a passenger tried to open the door mid flight. 34 year old uh, Ilom Agbegnino tried to open the emergency exit when the plane was 37 feet, 37,000 feet in the air. When a passenger tried to help restrain, uh, tried to help the airline staff restrain uh, Agbegnino, she bit the passenger on the inner thigh and refused to let go until the passenger forced their fingers into her jaw. She began hitting her head on the plane floor and said that Jesus told her to fly to Ohio and Jesus told her to open the plane door. Eventually, the flight attendants managed to restrain Agbegnino by pinning her down with the help of other passengers, and the plane was forced to make an emergency landing at the Bill and Hillary Clinton National Airport in Little Rock, Arkansas. Agbegnino um, was taken away by police officers after the aircraft landed. The passenger she bit was treated with hepatitis shots and antibiotics. Agmignino has been charged with assault, quote, with, within maritime and territorial jurisdiction, as well as interference with the flight attendants, according to the criminal complaint against her. Isn't she, I mean, isn't she mentally ill or is she fine? So this, I mean, I... Well, let me just fully say I am not a mental health professional. Okay. I, I, I only have a degree in psychology. I'm not licensed in any state or jurisdiction. Okay. It sounded based on the reports that I read that she basically had like either, um, some version of a psychotic break or like a, a, a severe panic attack, like that her so how could so if it if it is mental issues can they actually charge her but can it be can it be criminal if it's mentally if it's mental issue then it can be criminal can it that is a much more complicated question that's not something okay. that you can give a legal yes or i can i cannot give a yes or no answer to that right now okay okay um because the burden of proof for insanity and how much you're culpable for your actions is a very, very difficult legal question that has to be really drawn out in court. That's not something you can just make a, a quick assessment on. Um, uh, so basically it sound based on what I read in the reports, she had left her home like very suddenly kind of without notice and like she didn't seem to have any bags. She had no luggage or anything. And she said that she was flying to another town to go um, visit one of her friends who was like a pastor or something. And then all of a sudden in the middle of the flight, she, um, based on the descriptions that I read, it sounded like she almost had a claustrophobic attack and um started to panic and I read some things that described almost like an inability to breathe and that she somehow thought that being able to open the door would like allow her to breathe or okay. something. And then, she, I mean, this is obviously a person in a deep state of distress. Okay. okay. So but I, she was reporting again, that it was like Jesus telling her to do these things. Yeah, I know. Um, so, I obviously I'm not a mental health expert either. Okay. Uh, with, so this seems to me like somebody with a mental disorder. So I don't think you could, but again, I don't know because I don't, I'm not an expert, but again, I have to repeat this because by the way, people, I saw Prometheus saying the religion is a mental disorder. No, professionally, that's not how you, Religion is just because religion is wrong and it's a wrong belief, mental disorder and believing in things that are wrong are not the same thing, right? These are two separate things. You cannot describe them the same way. Um, so it's it's not, I mean, if I think it's, people shouldn't call religion a mental disorder because calling something a mental disorder is a very, um, it's a, 
you need to be a specialist to identify what's who's who's has mental disorders and who doesn't right um however but if this person has a mental disorder um that doesn't put religion off the hook religion like i always try to remind people that if somebody is doing religiously crazy things and they have a mental disorder what you can you can't say that their action is being uh, driven by religion, but you can say that religion has an influence in making their mental illness work or uh, worse, right? So the way I describe it is that imagine a person A and B, they both have mental disorder and they imagine things and they see things because of their mental disorder. And to person A um, is a control, but person B, you tell them that the things that they're hearing and the things that are um, imagining they actually are real. And somebody with a high degree of authority and power is talking to them and that's real and it's valid and it's something that they should take seriously, right? You, if I didn't even mention religion, but I think most people would understand that what I'm saying to person B is destructive and dangerous to their mental health and it's gonna make their mental health worse, right? So this person B is very much like, uh, what, what it's being told is very much like religion. So if you have mental uh, illness and you are prone to hear things and see things, if you add religion on top of that, now you have a framework and uh, more degrees of certainty that, and less degrees of um, doubt and less likelihood for you to, because there are many people who have, who see things and hear things, and they have been convinced by friends, family, and doctors that these are not real. And they have an understanding that not everything I imagine is represents the real world. So you are able to bring people to that understanding, even with that mental disorder. But when you add religion to that, you now have validation for what, what you're hearing is the source of that is God, Jesus, the Mahdi, Muhammad, Allah, or like Shiva or whatever, right? So that's why how religion poisons many things, including mental health. Uh, mental health disorders. So does that make sense? No, I 100%, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. I hope she gets help. I hope she's fine. Um, I hope she, if she has mental, again, if she has mental health disorder, uh, I hope she gets the care that she's needed instead of being punished with a crime. I don't, I don't think that it's fair to her for her to get punished as a criminal if you know if if this is actually mental health uh, mental health disorder mm -hmm. am i uh, do you think that's fair to say that I think so. yeah. It, yeah it 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 can get legally sticky it depends yeah see everything i said d just said it in one line <laughs> i didn't need to go the religion enhances mental illness yes exactly uh, also, a quick reminder that most mental, mentally um, challenged people are not dangerous, okay? The, the ones that do dangerous things get the news, news coverage, and it will give you the impression, many people the impression, that if you, are, if you have a mental disorder, you are dangerous, okay? But that is not the case. The, ones, the, the vast majority of them who are not dangerous do not make the news, okay? So... Just be mindful of that. All right. Can we? <clears throat> no, Prometheus, not, not every. Okay. So Prometheus is saying by this logic, every criminal act is mental illness. No, it's not. The, you need the mental illness has a very specific the definition. And the, there are, you know, very specific, like not just, not everything. Just because if this is mental illness, not everything criminal is mental illness. You need an expert to come and tell you if this was mental illness. Okay. No, you, we, me and you are not in a position to decide whether or not this was mental illness or not. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.